The Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 5, 1 through 5, and it says, But know this, that in the last days perilous times will come. Men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. From such people, turn away. September the 26th has been designated as National Day of Repentance. People all over our land are being called upon to unite in prayer for individual corporate, and national repentance, and to pray daily from September the 27th through November the 2nd, 40 days for the healing of our country, for the healing of our land. The Bible declares in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. This window of opportunity is open. The result will be either calamity or redemption. The future of our nation is at stake as well as the laws of religious freedom. A community time of prayer will be streamed just as it has been done for the 2020 National Day of Prayer. We're asking everyone to pray between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. daily between those dates that has been given. That is September the 27th, through November the 2nd. Tonight, local pastors or priests will participate offering prayer for the five emphases, remembering Pastor Aaron Wilson of the Bible Way Church, return Associate Pastor D.A. Francis Sr., of the Israelite Baptist Church. Repentance, Pastor Jimmy Broussard of the First Presbyterian Church. Reconciliation, Father Brent Smith of the St. Joseph Catholic Church of Rain. Revival, Pastor Ryan Post, the Northside Assembly of God Church. They will come in that order and offer prayer for those emphasis that we have given. The blessings of God be with all of us, and may God hear our cry and give ear to our petition and heal our land. Prayer of remembrance. Father God, we come today asking you to look down upon of a nation. God, we need you right now. And God, move by your power, move by your spirit. Help us to have a heart to repent and to look up to you, knowing the healing comes from you. And you said in your word in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. I will forgive their sin and heal the land. We ask this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray. 
thou omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent God. We, your people, come now in a state of repentance, returning, and reconciliation. We know that we have not been living our lives the way that we should as a community, as a country, and as Christians. We are so grateful for the grace that you have given us as your children. Lord, we ask on today that you would grant us the strength to overcome the ways of this world and turn to you in all situations. Help us to know you more and desire to walk with you. We chose on today, O oh God, to recommit to living our lives as followers of Jesus the Christ and to turn from the ways of the world. We pray that you will honor this prayer, that the Holy Spirit grant us the strength to overcome in our days, in the days of our lives. We thank you for saving us, and we offer ourselves now as living sacrifices. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Our gracious heavenly Father, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verse 19, reminds us, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. As we approach you, O oh God, your people need healing, your people need refreshing, O oh God, but it must be us to initiate that. You sit there waiting patiently, anxiously, lovingly for us to turn to you. And so we pray, Almighty Father, that you would give us a heart of repentance, that you would remold our hearts, that we would repent of all of the deeds we have done in the past and look towards you. Let us not look to our left or to our right, but let us look above. Let us look above from whence comes our help. Almighty Father, give us a repentance that will bring healing to our nation, that will bring refreshment to your people. For we are tired and broken and in need of your healing. This we ask in the name of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Christ calls us to a deeper realization of our responsibility as followers of Christ to live in accord with the gospel. Too often we have failed to do this. In our sinfulness, we have pursued greed instead of holiness, satisfied individual desires instead of the common good, focused on the popular instead of the outcast, practiced indifference instead of empathy, and listen to countless voices of the world instead of the words of Jesus. Words that remind us of how good it is to serve those in need, how right it is to follow the law of the Lord, and how holy it can be to die to self so that others may live fully. Over and over again, he offers us his saving mercy. In this time of such division, fear, unrest in our world, may we encounter the living God. Lord, help us to see that sin ruptures not only our relationship with you, but also with our brothers and sisters. It disrupts our communities and our families. We pray today to see that despite our sinfulness, God offers mercy and forgiveness. May we hear him calling us to conversion. Let us ask him for the grace of sincere repentance and to remember always that the Father of mercies, the God of all consolation, does not wish the sinner to die but to be converted and to live. Lord, come to the aid of your people that they may return from their sins and live for you. May we be attentive to your word, confess our sins, 
receive your forgiveness and always be grateful for your loving kindness. May your grace help us to become instruments of Christ's love, making amends and restoring justice and the bonds that have been broken in sin to find true reconciliation and healing that we who are healed and forgiven may then be willing to work for peace, for justice, for love in our communities and our world. Help us to grow into the fullness that is only found in Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, your Son taught us to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we close this time of prayer with a prayer for a revival, we pray that we would properly perceive and understand what your agenda is, what your will and your kingdom looks like right now in 2020 America, Louisiana, Acadia Parish. May we capture your vision of your kingdom established here and now in our midst, may we properly align ourselves and submit ourselves under your agenda, not a counterfeit agenda, but may we properly align ourselves under what you want to do so that there would be true revival, not just revival characterized by excitement and enthusiasm, but a revival of compassion, a revival of obedience, a revival of mercy, a revival of peace. Father, in the midst of a culture of deep chaos and fear, may we, your people, be instruments of peace. May we be instruments of biblical justice. May we be instruments of forgiveness, mercy. Lord, I pray over every pastor and church leader in Acadia Parish, Louisiana, and throughout America, Lord, let us be revived and renewed and refreshed and capture your vision for our churches and our communities. And we're standing on your word today, God, as you as you said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and will heal their land. Lord, may it be so in Jesus name. Amen.